everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Enigma here and I am back on my 100 baby challenge for episode three. Last episode, we gave birth to our first child, Adriana, so we have one out of 100 and we are hoping for two out of 100 today because Chloe is pregnant with the second child. So here we are, it is Friday morning and Kylie has actually been over for a little while, just chilling, hanging out with the family, which is so sweet. Let me show you guys a couple of the renovations I've been doing on the house. Yeah, so basically this is just the downstairs. So it's pretty much the same. I just changed the floor. The wall color is like a gray. It was a brown before. I like this better though. I think it's like it matches the brick better on the interior, I think, than the brown, which is kind of like a warm tone. So we have that, which is pretty cute. Let me know what you guys think. And then for the upstairs, I did, what did I do? Oh, I just basically added a bathtub here because we need that for the kids. And um, a little finance update. We are up in money. I have been doing lots of paint painting, lots of fishing, um, also a little bit of gardening, and I've been working on the bees, but everybody keeps getting stung because they are constantly enraged. I don't know how to fix that. If you guys know how to fix that, let me know because I need to do something. I don't want like my sims to die, especially when the kids come, if they're around the bees, that's just scary. So hopefully we can figure that out. Um, a little check in on Chloe specifically. Let's take a look. Oh, she's so happy. I'm so glad. Okay, so she is in her second trimester. So third trimester starts in what, four hours? I think it said, yeah. And um, I wish we could check how old Adriana is. As always, make sure you guys comment name suggestions in the comments down below. Um, I'm trying to do like alphabet style, so you know, the first first child's A, the second child's B, whether or not it's a girl or a boy. So keep that in mind. If I use your name, I will give you a shout out. Okay, so let's just get into today's video. I was thinking they could work a little bit more on their skills. Let's interact with Kylie a little bit just because she's just, you know, standing out here. Okay, she's coming in. She's always sad. I have to say that about Kylie. I don't know what's wrong, but she's either angry or sad. So maybe we can brighten her day a little bit. Um, and just maybe cheer her up a little bit. And I actually really want to go over to Kylie and her husband Skylar's house so you guys can see that and also so we can have, maybe once we age up Adriana. Oh, it's Adriana's Perth Day. Okay, awesome. We're gonna have to throw her a little bit of a party. We actually, I don't think I'm gonna throw her a party. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and age her up. But once she's a like a toddler, I think we should definitely go over to um, Skylar and... Oh shoot, and Kylie's house, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, just got a little distracted. Let's replace this, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that, I forgot, oh, well, okay, I forgot. You know, I need to be careful about my money. In my decades challenge, we literally have so much money, it's like money is no object. I can just repair anything I need, and things break a lot, because we have like 50 family member ghosts in that household. So that's a lot of fun, if you haven't checked it out, it is a throwback. I started it when I was much younger, so you should check it out if you haven't. And you know, Cameron's just doing his boxing thing. So let's have Chloe come down here and go ahead and just bake. Whoops, not bake. I always get confused because it's a cake, so you think it should be in bake, right? Um, Vanilla, or I guess it's just white. I'll go, let's do strawberry. That's kind of an expensive cake. Okay, we have more money now though before. We're definitely like in the comfort zone, um, which is great because as more kids come, we're either gonna need to upgrade the house entirely or just add like a renovation to make another room or something. So let me know if you guys think I should switch houses and go for the upgrade or um, just build another room somewhere, maybe onto this bottom floor, like over there or something. Um, or we could expand out maybe, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Okay, so she is baking that. I don't know where Kylie went. I feel, oh, she's just taking out our, oh. Okay, <laughs> she's taking out our trash and then is like, shoot, I have to go. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. Well, that's okay. She got it like almost all the way there. So I appreciate that. I also added this outdoor seating. I thought it was just nice as the family continues to expand to have more space, cause it is a small house. So like have more, space outside, take advantage of the environment, and it's just cute, you know, like that. And this is cool. It looks actually really dangerous thinking about it to have like little toddlers by this like super rapid moving like water, but what are you gonna do, you know? Um, it's nice though, like there's looking for frogs areas, there's plants that we've been harvesting, um, fishing, and then like some dig spot, it's gone right now, but it was there. And then look, this is our sister's house. I showed it to you guys already, but it's really cute. Oh, Blurfy. Blurfy is glitching a little bit, but it's such a cute house. We definitely should check it out. Okay. 
Cool, we reached level five of cooking, so that's always good. We need to be cooking a lot in this family. Um, oh my gosh, please don't eat the cake. Please add birthday candles. Okay. All right, we're just dancing. Chloe is enjoying her time. Um, I'm so excited. Do you guys think it is going to be a girl or a boy or twins or triplets? I rarely ever get twins or triplets. I would like that, but you know, what are you gonna do? What is wrong with this poor baby? Okay, let's take care of the baby. I need to call her Adriana because that is her name, not just baby. And there's gonna be a lot of babies here quickly. And we need to get, oh my gosh, guys, we need to get a toddler set up. So I'm thinking what I'll do is put the baby bassinet, I think that's what it's called, over here. So it's in the parents' room and then this can be Adriana's little room. Did you see her glitch and disappear? That was so weird. I love though her summer wear. It's so fancy. She's so fancy to be a mom, but it's like, I love it. It's just so like chic, okay? Also, yeah, this is just weird because it's kind of like glitching anyway and that's supposed to go against a wall and I always want it in a corner. So anyway, though, um, we will have her deal with all those things. Actually, I'm not going to do this stuff just because we're about to age her up anyway. And then let's bring her down here and um, shoot. How do I do this? Oh, I forgot. Oh, my goodness. I made this cake and we don't even need it. I totally forgot that you just age up the babies like this. Well, OK, that's easier. We have the cake. We can remove the candles, I guess, and still enjoy it. I mean, strawberry cake sounds literally amazing right now. I have such a sweet tooth, guys. It's really bad. It's really bad. But I do have a sweet tooth, and I like any sugar, I'm like, yes, I love it. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so sweet, our dear sister, Kylie. And I'm going to randomize. I want to randomize all the traits just for more, you know, because I'm going to choose all the nice stuff, like good and friendly, you know, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to randomize. Oh my gosh, and she got like the best one, Charmer. Okay, thank you game, Adriana is a Charmer. That is so sweet that Kylie sent us a gift and also Jocelyn, how sweet is our family? So here she is, our little bald baby. She's looking like Caillou, <laughs> so cute though. So um, let's, actually Cameron is in a flirty mood, but let's have him come, no, 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 no. Remove candles, please. We do not want anybody, any of the adults aging up. We need them around for quite a while. Um, okay, so we are gonna definitely give Adriana a little bit of a makeover and both of the parents have custom like CC hair and the reason I mention that is because the children will get like black hair automatically which I noticed previously so I will just adjust that kind of to whatever I want which is fine. Um, okay. So yeah, we'll just put the baby bassinet here so the baby on the way can sleep there and we'll just add a toddler bed and maybe a couple of toys up here. And we have the money to do it, which is so nice now because I was a little nervous, guys, when we had like $500 last episode. Like what are we gonna do as far as kids and kids stuff? Because you know, kids are expensive and we want a lot of them. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these beds. Um, what's easy is like I don't really have to commit to a color because you can just change them once you have them for no money, which is very exciting. So, um, I don't know what color looks good. These are all like pastel. I guess that's fine. We'll go with that. Um, it's cute, you know, and it kind of like the accent of this tree looks nice with it. So very cute. We will do that. And then, um, let me take a look at what I have. So I have a toilet down here and I have a high chair, so we're good. And then we have Blurfy upstairs. Maybe we'll get, I mean, I, they do love these and we do have the money to get one of these, but we would probably have to put it outside. Let's see, is there anywhere we could fit it upstairs? Hmm, these things are huge. I like to scale them down actually, um, just cause then they can still play with them and then they actually fit somewhere in the house. Okay, um, let's do this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we can just fit it through the walls if we want, but I will scale it down. That's yeah. Okay. We'll do that. It's cluttered. It's kind of weird, but, um, that works for now. And then we should also get the blocks. Where are they? Okay. We will put these, we can put them, oh, I can put them in the underground guys where I've always wanted them to go in the underground base. Okay. Or not underground. It's like the stairwell, like in Harry Potter, we can literally make her Harry Potter force her to live under the stairs. <laughs> with BB move objects. Okay, I promise I'm not gonna do that. I think this is fine. I think she has everything she needs for right now. Uh, so we will go ahead and just leave it off there and we are gonna go into Modify Household and give this little girl her first makeover. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. It looks like she literally has pink hair. Oh my goodness, that's really funny. Maybe she'll get pink hair later on. I don't think Chloe and Cameron are the kind of people to dye their baby's hair. Oh my gosh, the bob. I'm not gonna use the bob because I use it too much, but I love the bob. It's so cute. Okay. They look so grown up with the long hair. Okay, I really like this hair on Adriana. I think it's just really cute. 
Um, she has, I think, black eyebrows, which, as I mentioned, is because of, like, the CC on her parents. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give her, maybe I'll give her brown hair, like, more like her dad, and we can just switch it up as we want, um, and as they get older, too. There's gonna be plenty of kids. Oh my, whoa. There are gonna be so many kids, like, moving forward that we are gonna literally get to design, like, every possible <laughs> hair color will be used at some point. I am sure of it. So... Let's take a look. That's kind of like, it's like more of a redhead than what I'm going for. We also have a black, but you know, their hair is lighter. So I don't know if that matches. I don't know why that one's so weird. I feel like it suits her name and the hair style. Looks like Ariana Grande kind of. So I'm like, she just needs brown hair guys, come on. And then there's black, but obviously that's not gonna work. And there's so many fun colors. Why can't we just choose a fun color? She's just a cool baby guys. What can I say? She came out with neon green hair. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the brown. It's a little dark, but if anything, we can lighten it up when she gets older and has more hair options, and, you know, we'll make it work. It's very cute. She's adorable. Very, very into the CC hair. And if you guys have any CC suggestions as far as toddlers, I don't have a ton, so I would love your suggestions. Oh, I got my sweatshirt. How great is that? It's actually so weird. Look at that. It's like see-through arms. I don't know what's going on there. Oh my gosh, I love her in yellow. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I mean, white tennis shoes? I guess they look fine. It's just like kind of weird because like babies with like pure white tennis shoes are gonna get messed up like instantly. We got my eyelashes. All right, so here we are with the completed Adriana. She is so beautiful, so adorable. I love her hair and just all of her outfits. So this is her every day, her formal, her sleepwear, her party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. So overall, just super cute, and we can always play around a little bit later on with the custom content, but I am very, very happy with her everyday wear. Oh my gosh, guys, she's already practicing her shapes and talking to herself, which I think just increased her communication skill. That's awesome, she's so cute. Look at her, oh my gosh, I love her. We need to get a picture of her. I don't know what Cameron, where he met Leonardo Stewart, but he has some trouble with him, I can tell. Please don't go into the bathroom, oh my gosh. If they go into the bathroom for their little photo, I'm gonna be upset. Oh my gosh, what happened? No. She's so cute. I wish we could go down lower or like zoom in more. We need to get a camera. I feel like we can go ahead and go for, it's a little bit of a splurge, but we have the money to do it. Oh, well it zoomed in fully. Okay, well that is quite a disappointment, I must say. Can you not like stand closer to her when you're taking the picture, whatever. Okay, I guess we'll just have to do it later on. That's fine, whatever. Okay, it's so dark, it's still summer, so let's take a look. It's day six of seven um, out of summer, so we're gonna start in, you know, getting into autumn and all the festivities as far as that goes. So let's go visit, nobody is home. Well, that's weird. I don't know why nobody would be home. I really want them to have a play date. I mean, tomorrow is Saturday, so we could always do that, but the baby is on the way and I want them to have a play date before that happens. I was hoping at least, but I mean, if nobody's home, that's obviously not gonna work. So let's go ahead and start cleaning routine with that. We'll have Chloe clean up a little bit and I want her to see, so she it can give birth at any time. Um, oh, the Spice Festival is town. Should we go to that with all the kids? I mean, the one kid? <laughs> I want them to do something and if they can't go, let's see, show festival info. Let's travel to it, why not? It's just a little, you know, a little fun in our day. So let's go, let's go with Skylar, Jonah, all of them, we'll take Cameron, we'll take Adriana. Why don't we just make it a full family event? Why not? We have our family. We might as well invite them to the Spice Festival with us. Oh my goodness. Look how many people we have in our group. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. And it's starting to rain and none of us have umbrellas. <laughs> just putting a little umbrella. Hopefully they can grab some from it. Um, Cause I don't want anybody getting sick on this summer day. Oh, you can't. Okay, cool. They can't get umbrellas from it. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. So let's also take a look at her um aspiration so she needs to read to a child i love these two. Oh my gosh they're so cute take an umbrella finally all right well just interact you want to go interact with your cousin yay look at these two. Oh my gosh how cute are these little cousins and she's a little charmer so she wants to be social with everyone my heart we haven't even attended this spice festival look how cute these two are ah so cute okay they'll just interact a couple more times and I want Cameron to get up his relationship a little bit with Skylar. 
Skylar. Oh, Skylar's upset, it seems. <laughs> What's going on, Skylar? Okay, uh, get to know. Yeah, just raise this relationship because they don't know each other that well and I feel like they should. Okay, cool. And then I want Chloe to come and check out the Spice Festival. Actually, it's said that if you um, have spicy food while you're pregnant, you will go into labor faster. So maybe that is exactly what she's trying to do. She's like, I just want to get this baby out. We need to get some spicy food going on here. So let's order food. Samosa pel puri curry. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All of this sounds amazing. I don't know, actually know what this is. Is this spicy? I want something spicy. I don't know if we can order something. Should we have her try the spicy food? Oh, look, what is this? Sample food. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, yeah, let's have them try some food. None of them are vegetarian, so that helps a little bit as far as trying food. I'm not gonna accidentally poison one of them. Adriana is just enjoying the rain. She's just practicing her walking. That's fun for her. Okay, Chloe, I'm hoping somebody's keeping an eye on her with all those people. We're like over here. Oh my gosh, poor Chloe is exhausted. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so we're gonna have to go soon, but let's have her grab a serving together to encourage everybody to come and get free food here because we came, you know, we might as well take advantage of it, get everybody full. Um, and eating together, hopefully. Okay, cool, he's doing fine. It's just Chloe that's really tired. Um, and you know, it's almost nighttime. I really want her to do this though. I'm hoping she can do it. So she's uncomfortably wet, yeah. Sorry about that, and you are tired. How about we do this? Attempt the spicy curry challenge. I want them both to attempt it. I'm like decent at spice. She's just like in an alleyway, like alone. Your family has abandoned you. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, hopefully there are no cars coming, Adriana. Just make your way over to the spice festival. Oh, and this is great for Chloe actually because she, you know, likes to cook so she can get new recipe ideas, expand her palate a little bit. Um, let's harvest all. We're just gonna take advantage of that. Let's see how Chloe manages with the spice challenge. And I know she's tired, but maybe this will wake her up a little bit. It looks like Chloe isn't used to eating spicy food. Uh-oh. I know this is what you're tasting the spicy food for is to get that baby out. Okay, so she's doing that. I'm gonna hopefully get, I don't know what Cameron is like doing, but we're just gonna get him to harvest all of this because honestly, any extra cash, we will take advantage of it. So I'm gonna have her not do that. Just keep doing your spicy challenge. I really want Chloe to actually, or not Chloe, Adriana to actually eat while we're here, but I don't know where she is. Chloe is gonna go ahead and head home first because um, she's just, she's not doing well. You know, she's not doing well. So we will just let Adriana eat her burrito because she is hungry. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just head back home with everyone. Cameron's, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry it's so wet. I thought this was gonna be fun. I mean, it is fun, they got free food, so that's fun in my book. Are you eating? Where'd your burrito go? Oh my gosh, you don't have any food after all of that? Can you eat your mom's fish? Well, it says yummy, okay. Well, she's happy about it. <laughs> I guess that's good, even though it disappeared in like one second. Okay, so let's have them both head home. It's you know, getting late, especially for Adriana. She is young at this point, what, like three? Also, I wish you could really like bring babies out with you on events. Like there's so many problems with babies in The Sims, but like say like Chloe was gonna have another kid and we couldn't we couldn't even bring them like in a carrying thing or anything to the Spice Festival. It'd just be like, nope, you're going to the babysitters. No, 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 stop, stop. I appreciate your dedication, Adriana, but you are starving. She did eat a burrito, so I'm just confused by that. Can you leave, Cameron? Are you waiting for your toddler? Well, you could pick her up, but I guess that's just not possible. Oh my goodness. This poor little girl is so hungry. It starts, and it starts, and it starts. This is where the trouble, the trouble begins, guys, of failing to take care of the children in this family. All right, so we are finally back. I want him, he seems, I don't know if he's dry or not. We'll have him change into some different clothes, um, hopefully to get more comfortable. What are you doing, girl? I sent you back home so you would go to bed. And she's like, nope, watching TV. I get it, I get it. Okay, so she's gonna go sleep. Adriana is dancing, bopping, actually, specifically, to the music. Hopefully she can get leftovers. We have a ton of food. So, um, oh, look at our little robot cleaner. That's so cute. And we'll get Cameron to get her some food. Okay, perfect. All right. At least there's only three of them to deal with right now. I can definitely manage that, but I am afraid <laughs> with the increase of kids that will be happening shortly. I wonder how many kids we're gonna get through in this first generation. The goal is to get through as many as possible. Um, let's actually take a look at their ages. So she has plenty of time. She has 22 days till she's aging up to an adult, and then she has all of her adult 
phase to give birth to children. We have one, but she is pregnant with the second one. So I'm kind of thinking if she gets pregnant as soon as they give birth to the children, that's gonna be, you know, maximum children that we can get. And then also any kind of, you know, way to get twins or way to like, you know, induce more triplets occurring is going to be helpful. Although that sounds scary. It's like, do I really want that though? But yes, for the challenge overall, it is good. So we will see. I'm thinking I will probably wait until next episode to wait for Chloe's birth just because this episode was all about Adriana. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know. Do you like Adriana? Are you happy with how this series is going? I love to hear you guys' feedback and it's really so motivating to post when I have this community growing. Um, so thank you so much for that. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.